And we're live. Hey, hey, it's TGI Friday here to kick off your Lego loving weekend. And this week we are talking all about out of control Lego projects. What would happen if you had no limits? Or do you have an out of control Lego project? Uh, we'll talk all about this and more tonight. Tonight I have Dark Side Bricks joining me. Hey, ho, with oh, Mrs. Dark Side Bricks in the background. Yeah. I was going to say that, but <laughs> hi. Say hi, Mel. Hi. Hi. We've also got James, who never needs any more introductions. Because you're wow. like a celebrity, aren't you? I'm, I'm still me, so I'm, yeah. I'm commiserations yeah. for all involved. <laughs> and we've also got Bilza and Judy. Hello. Hi, hi guys. Thanks for joining me. Pleasure. Always. Always. So we had a busy, fun weekend last weekend. Well, well, most of us. No, I don't know about you, James. Did you have a busy, fun weekend last weekend? I can't remember that far back in my life. So. Wasn't that Bendy con on recently or something? Oh yes, that's right. That was last weekend. I, it's sad. I need a reminding. Um, oh my god, was it that yeah. bad? Uh, hang on. Right, I can remember it now. Um, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> um, yay. Well, do you want to talk about yours and then I'll talk about mine later? Or Oh, no, that's fine. You can share. No, you first. No, you're first. No, oh, okay. We've got to fill out the time somehow. Gee. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yes, um, so... Um, Myself and uh, well, many of the other members of Bendigo area Lego designers, um, the Luglers in the area. I decided uh, had a, a little display at um, the Bendigo or Bendicon, uh, the Bendigo, uh, Bendigo? <laughs> the Bendigo <laughs> Comic Con. Uh, yeah, just had uh, uh, some um, just display of of the type of sets that are available. Um, I just. Just brought together you know, some two two great sets. Um, if somebody was noticing um, the gradual build that I was doing, i.e. the DB5, which I said that I was going to build in another stream, and then I just cut sick and, and did it all in once. Mm -hmm. Off stream. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so I displayed that and the Minecraft uh, chicken. So, uh, and it was great because um, I was receiving some sage advice from people who know that, um, so I say no as in no, uh, that um, my constructed Lego chicken is in fact a duck. And they were in the process of telling me how much my chicken was a duck. And then, yeah, a couple of kids and a couple of adults beelined straight to the display after seeing my uh, Minecraft chicken going, look, chicken! And I was like, so what do you do? The cu the customer slash observer is always right. So, <laughs> so uh, round round two to me. Let's see what next week brings. <laughs> so so James, um, yeah. have you got an out of control Lego project? Every project is an out of control Lego project. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter how big or how small. It's all out of control. Um, obsession wise or <laughs> this seems like a loaded question that's a very loaded question <laughs> it's always like um you think that i might have an obsession over over certain things like chickens or um I, i'm actually acquiring another mr chicken today and i um uh sorry tomorrow another uh, one uh, which will shock viewers because I'm not known for collecting chickens at all. Um, at, at the moment, um, I'm, I'm currently stressing, worrying, freaking out, trying um, to, um, to start um, a, leg, uh, a rock face. And um, I have many parts mm. of which this is a very small amount and just trying to start that. Will it be out of control? I don't know. It's got to start before it's out of control. So is... watch this space. Okay. Fair enough. 
Um, I've had a question in the chat. Where's Darren? Did he die? No, he didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Joking. Did he die? That's funny because I just got a message. I'm going to see if this is the ghost of Darren past. It's his auntie. Oh, he's complaining about Kale. Oh, no, 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 no. Now Darren will be messaging me. <laughs> no, uh, yes, um, he seems to be away at the moment. So um, get well. Yes. Okay. Moving right along now, we've covered that one, seeing as it was so important to Johnny G. <laughs> uh, I know I've already talked to Philip this week. Uh, Bill and Jody, how yeah. was the weekend for you guys? Very, very good. We did the Mary Burrow show and um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, and you're a movie star now. I mean, star on the news. Yeah, yeah, so I, I was on the news as well, which was... Uh, you got more food. words in than Ken. No, yeah, no. I was at the start and the end. The guy comes up to me and goes, oh, so are you free for a chat? And I went, can I get my husband to do it? He's like, yeah, that's fine, I don't care who. So I've got him and said, you're on. He's like, no, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. Can you just do it? I'm like, no, I'm not interested, <laughs> I'm not doing it. And he's like, oh, fine, he was cranky at me for like an hour. <laughs> and you feel like, the love with the I don't care who I talk to. <laughs> well, I think after at Bundaberg, they interviewed us and they interviewed the kids, and they must have spent a good five or ten minutes with all four of us each, and then they didn't use any of the footage and didn't even put the segment on the news. So yeah. when the Maryborough guy came, it was like Oh, again. But then we're on the news. I'm like, oh, I would have tried harder. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because he didn't try. But no, it was good. Maryborough is a beautiful place in the world. I'd uh, I'd happily go there again. Hmm. We had a good weekend. Yeah. It's always long and tiring, but, you mm. know, that's just what it is. And But it was good to catch up with everyone. And it, it wasn't so overly busy that you couldn't have a chat with people, which was good. Yeah. It was good. We're both on holidays now, so it's all good. Yeah, though we're working harder now than when it's just <laughs> work. But <laughs> not always the way with holidays, though. You, you take a holiday and you do all the things that you don't you know, no, normally have time for. Yeah. yeah. And then you yeah, need a holiday from your holiday. holiday. That's it. When you holiday at home, it's not really a break. No. But that's okay. It's Even catch when up you're... on the to-do list. Yeah, it's catch up on the to-do list, and that's probably accurate too. Husband's yeah, in the background, he's just come home from work. Hey, Sean. Hello. Hey, Sean. Hey. <laughs> My to-do lists never get finished. They just kind of expand. Get longer. Oh, yeah. Exponentially longer than, yeah. Well, um, we've got certain things that we need done by next Wednesday when visitors start arriving. And we're um, we're just pumping things out as quickly as we can. We're running out of days. Running out of days, big time. We need like another week, but we don't have it, so there's no choice. We're just gonna keep going. Plus, I want to go to Chandler. Plus, I want to go to the Brickman at um, exhibition at Dreamworld. So yeah. yeah, I'm not paying for a Dreamworld pass just to go see Brian McNaught stuff. No, well, we already have passes, already so. It's not, it wouldn't cost yeah. us anything to go. So oh, yeah, fine. it's all right because you guys are local and you have season passes. Yeah. Plus, as locals, it's our obligation to support Dreamworld, I think, because the rest of Australia puts enough crap. I mean, the news puts enough crap on yeah. it. Yeah, true. So, anyway. But, yeah, we, we'll try and get to those two shows in the next four and a half days, <laughs> as well as our long list of everything else. Besides that, we're great. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Bill and Jody, do you have any out of control Lego projects? I think they're all out of control because every theme or yeah. display we do just escalates bigger and bigger and bigger. Like yeah. I've done five shows and I started with one table, and every show I've gained an extra table, so we're up to like six tables now. So it's um. The, the the only thing that controls my out of control is, is <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, Jody, are you the handbrake? Yes. 
Yes, I I have to I have to draw the line sometimes, and it all just comes down to money. Mm-hmm. It's I know I'm the fun police, but um, yeah, if if he just got everything he wanted, we wouldn't have a roof over our head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you would have a house built out of Lego. Yeah, but but she's learning. Like I bought <laughs> something at Shop at Home the other day, and it was about a hundred and ten dollars. And she said, "How much is postage?" And I said, "Oh, twelve dollars." And she goes, "When's it free?" And I said, "Another forty dollars." She goes, "Well, you may as well spend another forty. She goes, "I'm not paying for postage." <laughs> so I'm slowly teaching her. Oh, oh my god, that one doesn't work so well now that. The- and I got like three new architecture sets, so I'm happy. Oh, oh. Which ones did you get? Um, the new Las Vegas. Ah, oh, nice. Which is part of his birthday present because he's impatient. And the Great Wall. Uh, the handy you are you going to get? The Awful Tower. The Awful Tower because <laughs> it's not big enough. Yeah. The Disappointing Tower. But they're my first non-Skyline architectures. I've oh. only collected arc, um, Skylines. Going um, down the rabbit hole. No, I don't like a lot of them, but I really liked those two. So, yeah. um, and maybe Buckingham Palace, but other than that, I don't really care for all the other buildings that I don't even know what they are. I've got I'm Buckingham not- Palace, I haven't gotten around to building it. It was for my birthday last year, oh, the year God. before Christmas. Oh, it might have been Christmas last year. Well, the Great Walls of Skyline, it's just, yeah. I'm oh, sure. yeah, it might have been a just because actually. No, I think it was a just because because he got something. <laughs> 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 oh, and I got, needed something to add to the labor to get it to 200 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was from a selfish perspective on Sean's point of view because to be able to lay by a Toys R Us, they have a minimum. 200 bucks. Mm. They had a minimum. Yeah, had. I mean, Look, it's like when you talk about someone that's been in your life for a very long time, you keep using the wrong words and then eventually you come to terms with it. Yeah. Never yeah. mind. Philip's being awfully quiet. Philip's trying to find a part. Oh. Well, can I interrupt you now, Philip? Yeah, I've been waiting for this. He's like, I'm <laughs> waiting. Yes, yes. I have to say that this week's topic was inspired by Philip in some discussions earlier today. No. On a rant that Philip had. Oh. Yeah, Philip oh, wasn't really a rant, but yeah. Oh, as ranty as 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 uh, Dark Side but scarce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, 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 are you going to share with everyone what, what what the issue is? Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> there were a couple. Okay, well, we'll start with one. Um, making I'm making a new tabletop. Um, most people already know about it, and um, I was hoping to get away with only making a six, uh, a seven base by three base table. Yeah, one uh, table. Um, it's not going to happen. <gasps> While the train fits on a seven base by three base table, the train track, there's no room on the outside edges of the train track to the table edge to do tunnels or a cliff face or any sort of detailing. So I'm forced by Lego to have to have two tables. Now I have a handbrake sitting behind me building a Harry Potter train at the moment. That stops me from spending excessive money. When you said handbrake. Sorry. (laughs) She gave you a look when you said handbrake. No, she didn't. She loves me. You anyway, <laughs> yes, I did. I have to admit, I got a pork today <laughs> that we're going to build together tomorrow. But oh, yes, my handbrake <laughs> stops me from spending stupid amounts of money on stupid things like porks. Oh, yes, <laughs> I gave her the option of saying no to the pork, and she said, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, you didn't say no, so <laughs> she said, She said she didn't say anything, but. Oh, in, her direct in, feedback would be awesome at this point. In, Philipp- in Philippines, that means she didn't say no. So. Oh, 
<laughs> but yes, even as far as this table's concerned, even she um, started, even Melanie started talking about buying a second train set already. Oh dear. It's you not. did so. Don't you dare deny it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's. I, knew, I know buying a train was a slippery slope to start with, but I had a plan. I was set. I've even got the table laid out here with um, uh, A4 sheets of paper um, sticky taped together so I can do a mud map of how I want to set it all out. And, yeah, it's just not going to fit, so... I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a, a full second table to go with it, but yeah, I don't know. I can see it coming. You so if you're doing two tables, why not double track? I'm doing two tables, so why not double track it, Mel? <laughs> You've got the track. Because <laughs> if I want to do it realistically to what I'm actually making it up, making it out of, and making it based off. There are no dual tracks on that part of the train line. That yeah, are double do tracks. You could double do it tracks on end guys. around Dapto in, in New South Wales. But her thought was, why don't we bank the actual train yard on this on the second table, which is even more than double tracking. But anyway, <laughs> so yes, my handbrake's kind of broken at the moment. Your handbrake has turned into an enabler. Yes, but we've got other things that we've got to organise first before I worry about that. And my other rant was, why did Lego change the colour of their base plates, the green? Why that, did they go light green? That happened a while ago. I can't believe you. I've, did, I've never used green, that. have I? I've been using tan for 12 months. Okay, it happened well before you got back into Lego. <laughs> See, all the base plates I get from garage sales and that sort of stuff are all the dark green ones uh -huh. or the normal green. Normal so, yes, green. I went and thought, I'm going to get myself some base plates while they're on cheap at Target at the moment. Got home, I cracked them open, and then came into my Lego room with them and went, oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> the new green is to match in with Minecraft and Friends aesthetics. I'm not doing yeah. Minecraft or Friends, so I don't care. <laughs> Well, I'm like green, you damn it. Have all the same color. It doesn't matter. No, I know exactly. You it's look at you look at topographical right. photos of farms, and they don't have the same color grass. Their paddocks are all different colors. So yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Look, if you're concerned, just make your like the front row of your front table all the same color. Yeah. There's nobody's going to pay attention to the sides. Oh, look! I've got more of the light green ones now than I do the other. It's just that. When you're going to, when building it up with plates and whatnot, all the green plates are actual green, not light green. Mm. Well, and it just oh, does my, it does my OCD in. I just yeah. get patch quick, hey, patchworked. I might as well just throw pink on there. We got a comment in the chat saying it was cost saving move less dye. That uh, does make some sense. But you can still order the regular green ones. Yeah, but you pay a lot more than ten dollars for them. Oh yeah. Um, no, it's all good. Uh, no. I'm sure I'm sure I'll be able to make it look good. So uh, not, the I'm last not. time I checked they were still available through brick, brick, um bricks and pieces. Oh, okay. Oh, I may have to look into it, but I'm sure I'll be able to make it work. So I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. And you've got time. Yeah, more time than you know. So yeah, that was my rant today. That's it. Ranty rant. I have nothing of going out of control. I'm sure my handbrake will fix itself eventually. Oh. <laughs> I'm just waiting to get hit on live stream. <laughs> She's like, I'm not gonna hit you now. <laughs> no, she'll wait until the stream's over. At least expect it, then you're gonna <laughs> get it, boy. <laughs> You'll wake up with unexplained bruising. I'll wake oh, up with unexplained no, bruising no, already. Without bruising. <laughs> I do not kid. <laughs> anyway, I'm so glad she can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, man. I can hear you. I'm busy trying to help. Trying to help. No, find the part. 
Okay. Not that I can see. Yeah. All right. Um, Charm City Brick said earlier, I totally have an out of control Lego project right now with this Arctic Girl lol. Imagine that. And what is it? Douglas said something too. I hate when we're in the middle of talking about things and then people pop in and have really good comments and I've got to try and find where it was. Um, where are we? Ballasting the track. Ah, oh, here we go. Douglas says trains are my out of control obsession. 19 of them. Wow. We've got another this week. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of trains. That's just craziness. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Huh. You're just going to cover up the base blades anyway. So, um, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, right about it. In fact, I'd be inclined to just buy the bigger gray base plates. It covers more space. Yeah, I did give that some thought, even buying those for in the tunnel sections. Mm, yeah, I would definitely recommend. But yeah, I've got a plan for the table. I've just got to make it come together, come to fruition. Good. But if I end up getting a second train track set of tracks, <laughs> that was a Freudian slip there and a half. We'll need to get a second train. No, uh, if I get a second lot of train tracks, well, I might need to just to make a second table viable because otherwise it's just going to be a big empty area. <laughs> Douglas says you need at least two of every train. What, no, one unbox no. and one box? No. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, yeah, front and right, back. Oh, yeah, that that's certain trains, particularly like, like the, um, what was it, Horizon Express, to make it decent size. You had to buy two of them. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Was it Bluetooth? Seeing how the one that I've got is getting so heavily modified that it's not funny. Mm. Oh, what's this? Uh, Charm City says, for the Arctic display, I'm mostly using 3 by 8 wedge plates, which you can get for dirt cheap. And they're a great terrain vari variation. The white ones really look like snowdrifts. Well, there you go. And he said, Dark Side, you need to mock out the Hogwarts Express 8 stud wide and 50 stud long carriages. Like one thing at a time. <sighs> yeah, well, you know, this is what happens when you talk about trains and have an awful lot of um, train lovers in my. Uh, uh, one of the one of the missing pieces that we've spent all day looking for that I said was in a certain place. Yeah. We didn't find. Mel just accidentally stumbled across it. <laughs> but I'm still missing two other pieces for the train. But that was just the. Part, one of the parts for the car, but she wants to build the whole thing. So fair enough. I'd want to build the whole thing too. She likes Harry Potter, doesn't she? Yeah. Well, she married me. There's no accounting for taste. Oh no! <laughs> Is it pity Mel um, can come down to Maryborough? Yeah. Well, she had to work so I could afford to buy another train set track stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you keep slipping. You keep slipping. I have I have several obsessions like for out of control Lego projects, uh collecting things like the brickheads and minifigures, uni kitties, uh more minifigures, dinosaurs. Uh yeah, as for actual like out of control Lego projects, it was probably last year's Micropolis. Yeah, but it started with like you know, well, well, yeah, it wasn't at last year. It started in twenty sixteen actually at um Brickvention. Made about I think we ended up taking. We we're supposed to be only taking one each. I think we ended up taking like five. And that was fun trying to fit it in our luggage and then fretting about it going, you know, luggage being lost or something. Because it was too 
big forbidden carry on. And uh, yeah, so mm, that was definitely an obsession. I've got to start unpacking that and reworking some of the blocks. But uh, yeah, that sunk a lot of money. Like I thought that Dinosaur Park cost a lot. <clears throat> Micropolis, it's expensive just for the base part of it. Lots of little bits. Lots of little bits. Um, I suppose it's not so bad now that we've got, like, the pick brick wall or dream world so you can get, like, the snot bricks now. Um, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, all those tiles. I could have cried when the black tiles appeared on the pick brick wall and then they're gone, like, instantly. It's like, oh, my God. How many, you know, how many Micropolis blocks I could have, you know, built new ones of with all those tiles? God face. Never mind. But right, everyone's gone quiet now. It's like Sheree's talking about things that we're not interested in. I'm sorry. building Las Vegas. I'm sorry. We are interested. That's why we're quiet. And I know, but J James muted himself. Dark Side's disappeared because he's chasing. Well, I, I can unmute, mute, but then you have to. You have to listen. That. Yeah. So. Okay. Shut up, James. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> David H says I may have took some of the black tiles well okay. you know, these were in the days before I that before I would send Bill to go go fetch things for me and the days where it was a lot less expensive because I'd have to wait for things. But now I have my, you know, ABS dealer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, right, you know, near the source of the everything. I don't have to worry about missing out so much. I mean, it still happens. Um, yeah, I stopped going there so much when they started calling me by name as I walked in. <laughs> That's all right. They recognize us too, and like we rarely go there. Like I can count on one hand the number of times we've been there in like you know nearly two years, oh. which is sad. Why can't it be closer? Then I could be all like, "Uh, can't be bullied. That's boring. There's nothing new on the wall." Could be worse. Could be in another state. True. True. If RRB was here, he'd be whinging about how, how our New South Wales doesn't have a power pool at all or a Lego store. So where is he, RRB? I don't know. He's gone AWOL. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't really spoken to him since the last time he was on here. You grounded him hard. I grounded him? I don't think so. What's this? Diggler says, I think Rick stalks his customers. What? Emma not touching that with a barge pole. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, shame on all those people who bought other black tiles and didn't share them with me. I don't even remember black tiles being there. Yeah, no. they were on the wall for like a like not even a day. I was mm -hmm. posted up in the Dream World um, Pick a Brick Facebook group, and then they were gone. Oh, were they like one by four? Yeah. Oh, I got a couple of those. <laughs> <gasps> oh my God, Bill, you're part of the problem. Yeah, I did. Oh, I could have told you that right from the start. Kind of all problems. I didn't, no, not a full cup. Only, oh, it's almost a full cup. <laughs> I got some of those. I didn't. <laughs> some. I didn't take them all though. Some, like some people. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Maybe just not admit to those things next time. I didn't right? mean to. Hmm. I haven't yeah. even used them yet. Uh, so David H, are you a are you a Gold Coast local? Are you? Must be if you like, you know, getting lucky with you know black tiles and stuff. There's never anything good when we go. Never. You can have a look next weekend. Why would I want to do that? 
Because it's on the way. Did you drive past it? Yeah, I know, but, you know. Oh, you can pick me something up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got something something in mind already. Mm -hmm. I do not know anything about yeah. it. Bill, Bill will love it. Jody will just groan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, David says yes. Yes, he is a local. Okay. Right. Is that fair? It's too far. Oh, I'll, I'll drive that far for, for Bill. Oh. <laughs> but just to go to the Lego shop, that's, that's a bit much. Like, we have to have another reason to go to make it worthwhile. Never mind. But last weekend was um fun. Yeah. Um, it was a lot more chill, laid back than um, some shows we do. But you know that that's that's the good part of the regional shows and uh, all the fun. Yes. If anyone didn't tune in last week, you missed the best show. My head was a ping pong ball. <laughs> <laughs> It was. Sorry, I was not there to supervise and these things happen. No, it was hilarious. I loved it. Mm. I wouldn't go along with it if you know I didn't like it. I'd just be like, nah, not doing it. <laughs> but it, it was it was good. Um yeah. It was fun. It's nice um like staying in the same accommodation to you know being close and being able to actually talk. I felt like we actually got to talk. Yep. For once, like I didn't even really feel that at Bundaberg. Bundaberg seemed to like be over in a blink. Mm. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Hmm. Yep. Mary had a really cool diner. Yeah. It's, are you going to tell everyone about it, Bill? I've still got the footage. Oh, you two have a fight with the sugar, <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yeah, um, uh, I'm surprised we didn't get kicked out. Seriously, we were really that was We were pretty bad. That was, pretty bad. That was, that was just hilarious. Funny. It was hilarious. Yeah, I had sugar in places I didn't know I had. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Is that like the same as when it's sand? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. It was, yeah. He loved it. <laughs> it was a sweet affair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. How did you guys pull up after coming home? Like, I know you had a lot longer drive than anyone else. We what got hit with really bad roadworks through Brisbane. Yeah. Um, which added quite a lot of time to it, but overall not too bad um i think we got home about the same time as you although you left about an hour and a half after us it's about 9 30 9 40 or something we got in about 9 40 and yeah. literally dumped our stuff unpacked the car just left the trailer on um and went straight to bed i think we went into the tv for about 20 minutes and then we were out yeah we didn't unpack the lego until today yeah. Oh wow, till today. Well, I just sat in the trailer all week, so I suppose, yeah. yeah. That's the upside of having it all packed in, something you don't have to drive anywhere. No, we didn't even unhook it off the car, we just used a different car for the week. Yeah. <laughs> Change cars. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'm back. He's back. Hooray, everybody doesn't say. Hooray! I love your shirt, James. Oh, yes, he loves it. Pac Man is ready. Yes. I, I actually had a. I, I don't know if I shared this story or not. Who knows? I might have. Um, but I went into. Um, oh, yes. I live in Benigo and um, uh, some places around near where I am are like little you know, country towns that have been bypassed by the freeway. and. Oh, I can't tell from it. And, and some of them have, like, op shops and stuff. So you go into the op shop, and um, I was just, you know, tootling around, you know, seeing what I could find. And this, um, no, she probably could be, be my age, probably a, a little bit older. 
and she started following me, making a strange noise. I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay. And the noise was whoop, 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 whoop. And like at, at the time, I was wearing a similar T-shirt, but it was like uh, it was like your regular Pac-Man shirt with, you know, like the maze and that. And, um, yeah, she was following me around the whole shop going whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Douglas says the colour of your shirt makes you look like you, you have a Pac-Man chest tat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I realise that. Jake. I knew there was a reason why I shouldn't wear salmon pink or salmon red shirts. Yeah. Um, it's on you. Yeah. Like, wow, how did she suspend the, um, this jacket in midair? It's kind of like, yeah. <laughs> it does look like that. Like, I'm... I'm yeah, jazz hands and yeah. Jazz hands. <laughs> uh, and that wasn't the only doozy comment that he has. Douglas um, says, "You really don't realize how just how many hot dogs Lego has released in over the years until you sort it." Yes. Oh, and the fact that you get two hot dogs with every bun, I, I've got a drawer full of wieners. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> Well, every every time no, you get, no. <laughs> but isn't that just like real life, Bill? Um, some households, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. The oh, hot dog buns come in a pack of six, but the hot, the wieners come in a pack of eight. That's yes, right. it is like real life. It's always an odd number. Yeah, there's always one for each of the dogs. Oh, really? okay. I was, no, <laughs> there is no theory to support that. <laughs> um, there is like, I can't be serious now. No. Oh, come on. My whoop, whoop story was so serious. But it was true, 100% true. Whoop, 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 whoop. Odd. Anyway. Whoop, 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 whoop. Mm -hmm. At least she wasn't making chicken noises. No, although. That makes um, me completely paranoid. Yeah, I did suggest that I eat some fruit and that I'd be able to move faster. And then I turned towards her, yeah. <laughs> more, exactly. more, more importantly was, was she single? I didn't venture to ask that question. Oh. Funny enough, um, I don't... Was it the <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally go around asking strange women who follow people around going whoop, 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 whether or not their marital status is single. I don't know. I'm weird like that. Missed opportunity, James. No. <laughs> <laughs> or you possibly dodged a bullet because she's a bit loopy. Anyway. Who knows? Maybe following strange women around going whoop, whoop, is my personal thing and... Right, move on. Yes, uh, please. Oh, oh dear. Still looks like you have a chest hat apart. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it, it, well, unless you, unless you are, like, hiding a hairy fist underneath there, it does look like you've got Pac-Man on your chest. No, no, I shut don't up. have Pac-Man on my chest. No, I'm pretty sure I don't. <laughs> It's all good. You need to get a Sharpie and draw some abs on there. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Point taken and noted. And noted. And ah, abs are overrated. I have abs. It's just hidden under layers of fat. Your mind's under a keg. <laughs> Everyone has abs. It's just, yeah. Undeveloped. Anyway. I ate my abs. That was <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, oh. Does that mean that you have double abs? I've got quads. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That's good. That's good. Okay. Didn't even take us an hour to go into the weird place. Well, speaking of things going out of control, this conversation clearly is, and in some way that it's kind of going as per normal. So. Thumbs up. Let this be your prompt to like this stream. If you like strange women following you around going whoop, 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 
or like stories of said things, press subscribe and then press the little bell so that you know that something is coming up instead of pestering people who are currently running the channel to see when it's actually on. <laughs> I don't think I really get anybody pestering. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a Johnny G, but he's just a pest. Wouldn't have him any other way, though. No, oh, I okay. He's the best pest. <laughs> the best pest. <laughs> Bogan. Oh, dear. Oh, Diggler said it could be worse. Total Bogan tat of such is life. Isn't such is life kind of like shit happens, but with a, a rubbish bin with a hole in it? Isn't that kind <laughs> of like <laughs> Oh, no. With like a shotgun, shit happens. I'm like, really? You know, anyway. Um, Moving right along. Please. I feel like we've extended the topic, like, as far as it'll go already. When does that happen? This one through very well, did I? Topical, though. I'm more excited about the fact that our friend Bailey is over in Denmark. Why? Yeah. Because I wish I was there and I could have fit in his luggage, although I may have asphyxiated. Seriously, I was on a Skype call and the amount of notifications that I was getting, it was sounding like a rap track. Within 10 minutes, I got 40 or 50 notifications. It was like... I'm in Denmark, aren't I special? Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Yeah. So, yes, you are special, Bailey. Well done, bravo. And you'll be sending us pictures of the sets that we can never get because we are Australian. So. Now, now. Oh, look, hey, Tan Bricks is in the chat. Hello. Hey, hey, Tan. Hey, Tan, have you got any out of control Lego projects? And do you have a handbrake? Is there somebody that reels you in and stops you from going, you know, to the extremes? Besides I, the bank. I just want to say it's no fun being the handbrake. <laughs> and I'm really stuck sometimes, but someone has to do it. But I really hate how it's my job. Hmm. I just want to say, I don't actually like saying, no, not right now, don't buy that. It's really not fun. Just, I'd love just to be able to say, go get it all, do whatever. But let's not lie. You bet the kids need to eat. Yeah. <laughs> I just told Mel what you said, and she's exactly the same. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's not cool. Do not always seem to be the, the, the women, the wives, the girlfriends are always having to be the handbrake? I'm yeah. so glad That's you mentioned that because I was going to say something. Very and, then something and I just hate it. Yeah. I feel like you like the fun police. It's like, yeah. no, no, you cannot have fun today. Yeah. You don't think of all the times that you've said yes and you've brought a million things. You only remember the times that you had to say no. All you have to do is turn around, Jody. Yeah, I know. He's, <laughs> he's so spoiled, but it's still not fun having to, yeah. But the question is, is does his happiness last longer than just building the thing? Like, Yes. Like, you know, it, it, it's sustainable. Like, it's not like, oh, I've got this thing now and my life is over. No, I'm going to answer that first. Yes. The yes. happiness continues after the build. Okay. Um, I'd like to share this. Uh-oh. Um. <laughs> James has to interject for a moment. Yes. It's, um, not, mu it's not music based, is it? No. Um. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, Pac-Man. Pac -Man noise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that will bring me back. Yeah. Uh, Tassiped says, my partner Martin is a handbrake. Well, there you go. Mm. That, that breaks the, the gender stereotype of the, the female in the relationship being the, the fun police. Well, I don't think it's really a stereotype if three out of three are all doing it. Hey, I... I my girlfriend at the time, she knew I liked Lego and she rewarded me by buying me some Shopkins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, oh, they're, they're just the same. No. Is is she now your ex? <laughs> yes. yes. Because enough, um, by pure coincidence that is not related, although 
I don't know. Like, I have a look. Like, I have things thrown the the Shopkins away because really, like, what we really need is a soap dish with eyes on it, and, and that is so similar to Lego in every way. Um, <laughs> oh, she was probably like, but it's plastic. It's plastic, right? Yes. Um, I just smiled and said, "How thoughtful!" And um, yes. <laughs> See, I love how easy it is to buy any present, birthday, anniversary, Christmas, whatever. If I'm struggling for ideas, I know that I can pretty much go buy any Lego set and he's happy as. So my that's problem, really cool. My problem is, is that my husband has no sense of waiting, with the exception of the, was it the Porsche? Was it the orange car? Is that Porsche? Yeah. 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 Well, um, it's in yeah, triple digits. Usually by the time like birthdays and Christmas roll around, he's got everything that he wants. Oh, there's always something that he wants that I could get. So, and then he, so, you know, he wants the sets what he wants twice. So then you can always just do that. So I'm never ever out of ideas. But I think for a while now, since he's been displaying, he pretty much focuses on buying sets for his display. Mm. So yeah, it's you know it's living on every time he changes his display it, you know he's still using those same sets and there's a whole lot of sets that are his you know dream to buy but they're not part of his lego city so they're still sitting in the shop waiting um but I think, yeah, just, yeah building and replacing it and making its own little story in in the in the setup is kind of keeps it going no yeah. All right, we've got a few more comments in the live chat. David H says, I'm the enabler, handbrake all in one. So you have some uh, self-restraint. Okay, that's good. Um, Douglas says, money is my handbrake. Yes, money is a factor for people who don't have enough of it. Absolutely. I'd love to not be able to pay rent and have $500 a fortnight free. That would be lovely. But unfortunately... Um, half of what I get goes straight to rent. So I too would love to be an, would love to have to not be an adult. Yeah, yeah. adulting is hard. Yep, it is. James, James, clearly, clearly, you need to be a capped man. You need a sugar mama. Yes. She keeps you yes. in my goes. Yes. Works I'm fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> So if anyone's looking, you can contact James on one three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you might think you're out of ca out of camera, but I did see a smirk. I, I see a, <laughs> I saw a smirk. Just like, <laughs> but yes, yeah, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Like uh, my Lego spend so far this month, which is sad. It, it's sad that there's a phrase called Lego spend, but let's be honest. If anybody is on this channel, and not just the panelists, anybody who's watching this has a Lego spend, and it it, it well it well may um, intersect such as pesky things like food, or um, educational expenses, or That's what three minute noodles or four. Well, yeah, like three minute noodles. Sorry, I know people who eat baked beans so that they can afford what they really need to buy. Yeah, well, you know, creative development of the brain is the most important thing. And so if you can justify that buying more Lego stimulates the brain, then you're helping your child's education. So buy more Lego. Mm. <laughs> Apart from I don't have a child. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can be your own inner child. Yes. So, no, no, out, out of child. No, you know, I'm not hiding it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, David, David H says, single and no kids helps. Yeah, that that would help, particularly if you have a decent job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But as I've as I've noticed over the years, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Mm. Art pay is, is evil slash useful. Um, useful yeah, because so occasionally five seconds today and no. <laughs> well, yeah, occasionally you find something that's like, wow, I didn't know that was coming, or. All the flippers saw it and just went, Shoo! and you found one. You're like, yes, I must have it, but I don't have money at the moment. I can afterpay it, and then suddenly you have it. Uh, afterpay is an evil thing. 
Yes. Google says uh, using Afterpay has been an eye opener. The purchase history bit and knowing that's only like half of what he spends. <laughs> Mm. Well, that thing behind me is pretty much um, signifies my usual Lego spend a year. And if you actually add it up, it, it's kind of scary because you think, wow, where, did it, where does it go? <laughs> At least because it's built there, I can see it as, as, a, as a tangible thing. My it, precious. My uh, precious. Um, but yes. Oh. Um, I yes, so um, my Lego spend this month is a Mr. Chicken, so I'm very pleased with that because I need more. No, okay. uh, chickens. Mm -hmm. more chickens. Uh, we have a rare sighting of a critter in the chat. Hello, critter. Who says my handbrake pays the mortgage? Well, that's nice. You got someone who does that. Hmm. Yeah. So I guess you don't argue with having to pay a mortgage, obviously. Wow. Is that an option that somebody else can pay the mortgage? <laughs> oh, I don't know. And hey, Tan Brick says, yeah, afterpay helps. Ha ha. Yeah. Afterpay and lay buys. Depends on where you buy from. Like, I suppose the good thing about afterpay is, like, you can have it now. But that's the bad thing with Afterpay is that you can have it now. I only had zip money because of Toys R Us, but they're not around anymore. So once that's paid off, it's gone. So. How long do you have to pay off Afterpay? I've never used it. Like, what, it's what? Four, four equal payments of whatever the total is. per. Um, so one okay. payment per okay. fortnight for four fortnights. So why not just get a credit card and pay that off in four Equal payments. No one, no one ever pays off their credit card bill in four equal payments. Yeah, it, it's kind of um, an enforced lay by. Um, no, David but... says six weeks. I think it depends oh, on which no. one you use because there's zip pay and there's after pay and there's another one. I think yeah, after pay is eight. Although sometimes um, it might be longer than that because sometimes if you're lucky, they give you the first. They don't require the first repayment, and so you don't pay until two weeks after. Um, yeah, four times two is eight, but anyway. Anyway. Yeah, I'll come and help you. Um, yeah, so I've noticed that, like, after paying zip pay, are really starting to replace things like, like lay-by. Because I guess retailers aren't liking the idea of having to hold on to stock. The stock takes up room and room costs money. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, you know, what better to have the shop stock in your hand yeah. while you're paying it off? Um, you know. I think with, like, zip pay and after pay, you don't pay interest. You pay, like, an account. Do you anything? I need to. Hang on, got it. Yeah. Well, it's a lot cheaper than a credit card. Um, oh, yeah. Plus, they sure. don't keep continually offering you more and more credit. Well, well the credit card companies do. Oh, well, they can't do that anymore unless you ask for it anyway. But the very fact that it's available in the stores when you like is yeah. in itself an advertisement. So, yeah. So, cool. yeah. Mm. No, even the shops are enabling us. Well, they want to sell stuff, so why not? <laughs> and James is like, and I want to buy stuff, so that works out perfectly. I hope you see the bricks easy. Well, I suppose it's something that bricks and mortar retailers can offer that online retailers tend not to, so that'll help them. Hey, if um, bricks and pieces offer afterpay, I'm doomed. Um, <laughs> I'm absolutely doomed because I'd I'd order boxes and boxes of parts if I can just <laughs> defer it. But anyway, <laughs> mm. then you'd have to after pay your rent. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, hey Tan says, 
Oh, hang on. Douglas says Afterpay is free for me. Yeah. Pay the business. Actually, yeah, that, that, that probably indicates how much I was using Afterpay. So that's kind of a sad um, excitement on my part, I think. They're like, James is a frequent <laughs> flyer. Let's let him, you know, get things and not to pay it straight away. Yeah, he's a sucker. Just, yeah, ring him in. Yeah. Oh, look, I, I was having a continual Afterpay for about nine months. So. Yeah, anyway. That's right. I whisper, whisper in the background of Philip. Sorry, Philip, I'm just meeting you temporarily. Um, yeah, exactly. It's well, I was. I'm. I'm actually quite tempted to use it for something else, which I won't mention because if I do mention it, suddenly the um the stock will dry up and I won't have the opportunity to use it. Um. So, <laughs> but yes, there are a few large sets that I have my eye on that, when they are on sale, I it's a good opportunity to use Afterpay to uh, acquire set items. Mm. Douglas says, I like that I need some money to begin with. It keeps you in line. I say uh, for people who, who are very bad at the whole credit card thing, things like Afterpay and ZipPay and Labels and stuff like that, I'll walk it. Yeah. It's the whole structure. Well, yeah, um, I don't know. Loans and stuff like that are a lot easier for me to pay off mm. and to be to pay off. Um, having the cash up front necessarily isn't always an option. But, anyway. And David H is saying, I've used it like five times, mainly for larger sets, yeah. I think that's pretty much what um, Sean's done is he's used it for larger sets. So wherever he's got the port on layby, they mustn't have anything. Otherwise, he'd have it already. And it'd be sitting in the pile of shame and not build. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I'm awake. Sure. Sure. Have we heard of anything new coming along the line? Yeah. Uh, Other releases? I heard that there is a fish that's going to be on Indiegogo and that we can't buy it in Australia. Oh, really? Yeah, it's only um, a trial release for the UK and the USA. I may have commented on that. talking about? <laughs> I've seen photos of that. It looks um, really cool. Yeah, it's like a um, technic, like um, kinetic sculpture. Yeah. And then it has like this foil, like outer lining thing that makes it look like a fish or a shark or a koi. The koi was cool. Yeah, I quite well, like the koi. seen a couple of different ones in the, in the write ups about it. Yeah. Well, you might just have to go to the UK. Okay. Although, uh, to be honest, no, all you need is somebody in the UK to order it for you. Or oh, the yeah. UK is probably cheaper. Yes, okay. look cool. Yeah, he just wants to jump on a plane and go buy them. Oh, they won't be physically in a store, Bill. Okay, oh. it's like um, crowdfunding, crowdsourcing. So you have to actually go and back the products, and then it'll be made. Oh, yeah. uh, it's not being um, delivered until January is what I was reading. But um, I've uh, yeah, I kind of felt felt a little bit like divided on my opinion when I first saw it, but after looking at it a few times, I was like, yeah, that's cool. It's a cool sculptural piece. It's cool. But if it's um, out in January, then I'm out because that's when all the new city sets come out. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. Um, there was quite a lot of mixed reception because it's supposed to be aimed at the Apple community. Well, not necessarily Apple's. From what I read in the press release, that this is actually aimed at people who aren't really into Lego but are interested but, you know, uh, are just still, like, helping the kids with their Lego or something like that, something that's more adult-focused so that they can buy it for themselves. 
uh, some people, particularly in the Athol uh, groups, have actually panned it, saying that, you know, oh, this is this is a repeat of mistakes. They've made mistake. This is a stupid product. I disagree. I think it looks cool. But, again, I can't buy it because it's not even going to be released here. So. Well, to be yeah. honest, just have a look at it. It's just, like, really, it's... It's a simple, you know, technic machine, which mm. is it's just you turn the wheel and then it kind of makes a movement which wiggles. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of uh, technic knobs. Mm. You put a paper thing over it. Um, and really, if, if you want to make it look one thing over another, it's just another paper that you print out, colour in, and then put over the knobs and then turn the handle and then it moves. So the skins are actually made out of foil, but anyway. Oh, okay. Well, I'm interested to see what people use the the skins for for other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I can see some interesting stuff coming out of that if people can cut over themselves and just buy the damn thing. No, um, uh, we'll whinge better in forums. Yeah, of course they'll whinge. Uh, like that's what Apples do. They whinge about everything. Just generally, I'm not saying anyone specifically, but no, no, I did, I did, I, I did something it's like that. Just the, the thing that you do. It doesn't matter what hobby you're in. There's, you know, everyone's got their little thing that they, you know, will complain about. I suppose. If you imagine an angry asshole just randomly random getting, getting their hand and just putting it into their body, rummaging around. You found a small organ called a spleen and then throwing it out on the oh. That's generally what we do in the forums oh. daily. Mm. Oh, cute kitty. Lego thief. <laughs> Lego thief. But you have all these toys for me. Hello, Lego thief. Oh. Lego thief. He's like, run away, run away. Cuteness. Wow. Oh. Oh, that, that's our kitty cat. Um segment <laughs> the weekly segment that one yeah. yeah taylor's taken him to bed and he's already escaped <laughs> uh warren g says i am my own handbrake but when people ask how i can spend so much on lego i say i don't drink smoke or gamble exactly yep. same here. Here, exactly the same thing here at the end of the day, if you change your mind about Lego, you can always sell it. Did you hear that? No, you can't. That's sacrilegious. <laughs> I'm not saying that it'll ever happen. I'm just saying that, you know, if you were to change your mind and get into something else, then there's a return on your um, investment. Like, even I think that's sort of been going to fund our retirement. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not, and then you sound nothing. When his little hands are so arthritic, he can't play. Sorry, build Lego anymore. He may just have to get rid of it. Oh, oh what? When I'm as old as Darkseid? Oh. Oh. oh, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> he said, when he's old and rickety and he can't use Lego properly anymore, he can sell his Lego and they can retire off it. He <laughs> said, what? When I'm as old as Darkseid? Oh, <laughs> You're only as old as you feel. I'm just going to leave that statement at that and leave it alone. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, Henry's in the chat. He says, "Hey, sorry for dropping in late. Have you all been, or have I already missed that conversation?" We usually cover that in the first five minutes, Henry. But hello. <laughs> hey, Nothing Henry. Same time what? every week, ten p.m. You are time. Nothing. Can we do a like um, a ten second wraparound? Ten second wraparound. What's that? Yeah. Uh, ooh, how can we summarize the last hour or so? Uh, hi, Lego, bad, whoop, 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 um, funny, <laughs> uh, cat, or oh, mm, cute, um, yeah, there you go, haha, <laughs> you're weird, yeah. rumble, rumble, yes, rah, 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 rah. And, rah, 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 and we hear now. So. I think that 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 summarizes it very well, James. Well done, well done, well done. Well, you mean what? What you mentioned before? I'm just wondering. There is a difference in the words "would," mm. "could," mm. and "should." 
when you're talking about Lego and, oh, you could sell it. Yes, that's nice. Yes, we could. <laughs> Should we? Would we? Oh. Uh, could we? Don't know. Well, you. <laughs> it's the same thing between need and want. Yes. You want it, do you need it? Yes. What you're trying to do there? <laughs> I was like, Jody, are you trying to rationalize things? Rational. You're adding rational where rational does not belong. Sorry. <laughs> like, ah, you're the handbrake after all. No. Actually, fun police. Here's one. How many handbags must one woman possess? One. Yes. Yeah. How many handbags? Quite a few. And pairs of shoes. I I, I keep all of those shoes. There's almost as many pairs of shoes as there are Lego bricks. Awesome. Okay. (laughs) I have one (laughs) handbag, one (laughs) pair of shoes, and one pair of thongs. Oh, no. I've got a ton. Uh, (laughs) Lego shelving behind me. He has the same shelving in the bedroom for the shoes. Not this amount. Um, oh, flip around. Like a... Yeah. And it lights up, too. I, that's because you did it. What? I have not hit triple figures like that. of it lights shoes up. yet. I'm still triple in... Triple figures? I'm sorry, did you say triple figures? Yeah. How many feet do you have? She's close, too. I think it's in the maybe, like, the 60s. Oh, dear. It's like... What size wow. are your feet, Jody? Jody's but I just two like two to say pairs that, pairs like, majority of them are Kmart and Big W shoes. It's not like they're expensive. Mel and I haven't had 60 pairs of shoes over our entire lives added together. Yeah. Um, I like Wow. Shoes. And when I was single, I used to buy expensive shoes. Then I got married and bought kind of Lego. not too bad of um, value shoes, and now it's, yeah. Seven dollar flats from Big W. That's not James. twisting the conversation expert level, James. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like. Yeah. There's no real rational explanation for any of it. It's a, there's, a, there's a time and a place and a reason and a situation and you know, like yes, I I, I want to wear thongs for all occasions. Although there are many people who don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I understand that. That's, that's fine. Uh, that was all good. There you go. He's got one arm now. Henry says I have one pair of shoes. Footsals, whatever those are. What's that? Yeah. Isn't that a sport? <laughs> I don't know. He also timed you and said it wasn't 10 seconds, it was 13. Well, I had to breathe. Jeez. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Breathing is optional, James. I know. Some people would prefer if I didn't. Ah, <laughs> oh, Douglas, Javianas, yes. Did, did Scabbers get hungry? I need a reddish-brown arm. Reddish-brown, yeah, they, they come around often. Oh, oh yeah, that's that not, like, super yeah. from nothing. I think that's what the secret ingredient is in those jelly beans. <laughs> oh dear! Right oh, on. Got all the part, ne- Nearly got all the parts for the um, birdies beans trolley. We're missing one wheel mount. Right arm. <laughs> no, one wheel mount. One wheel mount. Of course they did. That's why you don't give Lego to children. They're stupid. <laughs> Uh, Henry says they're soccer boots but have a flat bottom. They're the best for everything. Do you wear them to school too? Surely not. Do they make a story about girls? They're called sand shoes. Why are we talking about shoes? I have no idea. We went down that rabbit hole real quickly, aren't we? That was me. Yeah. Yep, we went down that shoes and got stuck. James' fault. My yeah, fault. James's fault. No. Your fault, James. Um, I, I think we should go back to something more. Chicken. Um, <laughs> I, I was going to go more sensical, but um, more duck oriented. Oh dear. Although I must admit, this bunny is pretty cool. Oh, that's cute. Bunny, bunny, bunny with the red that eye. Bunny. Surely you mean this that bunny? That bunny will kill you. <laughs> 
Surely you mean which bunny, James? This bunny. Same bunny. Yes. Twinsies! It's a vicious vomit. It'll bite your face off. Mm. And everyone's like, what the hell is he talking about? People who know will know. They never know what he's They won't keep it to themselves. They'll, you know, um, recite it endlessly until people just walk away or slap them in the face. I'm actually, I'm actually having some self-restraint here and not doing it. I'm, hey, I'm doing it in my head. <laughs> I'm doing it in my head, but no, Mel will hit me if I start doing that. Are you already doing the... Less than five? The whole gamut, dude. Every single every yeah. single movie, all the TV shows. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've changed the conversation. It's time for something completely different. See, I, was, I knew it was going to come out. I couldn't stop it. <laughs> yes. I like Lego. <laughs> they actually, on, on you can get a uh, release, um, although they keep on bringing it latest release but on the on the blu-ray of monty python and the holy grail is a lego version an animated version of it in lego like a stop motion video of the film in lego which is awesome so yes i am talking about lego kind of maybe i don't know it's kind of funny when uh i think there's a period in the film where um clancy Yes, Clancy, um, the mount, says, oh, it's only a model, talking about Camelot, and it's one of the few times it is a model because it's a Lego model in the background, which, yeah, oh. which is kind of cool. But, yeah, you know. That's funny. We actually had this conversation last weekend. I think so. Yeah, we, yeah. we really need to. You're getting a sense of deja vu? Uh, remember I said I was going to ring my wife at work and ask you if she could do me a favour? And then tell her to cut down the tallest tree in the forest with a herring. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, I think I might have. Right. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she's actually got the power to slap me through the phone, so I won't do that. Oh, come on. I want to see it. James is like, I want to see violence. I want to see violence. That's violence, <laughs> not violence. I've got the makings of a steam train happening next to me. Choo choo. Unfortunately, <laughs> you can't power it up because it's too small. It won't take the actual power up machine. That's why you need to make it eight wide. Exactly. See, I, I would have figured um, it wouldn't maintain the, uh, the seal required or the pressure to boil water and make it into steam. But, you know. That's what smoke isn't, machines are for. Isn't being panic fun? Uh, is the new yeah. one eight wide? Sorry? The new Hogwarts. Isn't that eight wide? I have no idea. This isn't the new one. No. Yeah, You've got to build the, car, count the stats. I was going to say, you're bound to have at least one version of it behind you there somewhere. Yeah, no, it's only six wide. <laughs> what was that, Jody? Surely. <laughs> Surely. He's got all three versions there, doesn't he? They're just off camera. No, I don't no. even like Harry Potter. For once, no. I only have the new one. Join the club. Why do you even have that? I got this because, because it came in a garage sale. That's the only reason I've got it. Yeah, but Bill, why did you buy it? Because I thought it looked cool. Uh, okay. I thought... The answer the most things. It's like, ooh, shiny. I thought it might take Jaden away from the PlayStation for a ah, minutes. Ah, ah. Don't be silly. I failed. Yeah. Oh, okay. You just thought wrong. Yeah, I remember wrong. when you played with Lego. Are you admitting you're wrong, Bill? No, what? No, no never. <laughs> I wasn't even there. Bill's never wrong. There you go, Bill. You can buy the new version. Someone's selling it for $140. <gasps> well, it's $140 at the Lego store. Yeah. Oh, this is brand new in box. Mint condition. 
Yeah. Oh, the ones at the Lego store. I oh, know it's your atypical um for sale um post in Lego buy sell buy sell swap ah. Australia. Pick up oh. from Ringwood or Keysborough. If Victorians yeah. don't want their Lego going out of Victoria, why do they post on Australian wide? It's because they can't groups. be bothered posting it. Plus, there's so many scams. Yeah, but why bother posting the actual for sale thing on an Australian wide group? Just go to some Victorian hovel hole of a group and post it there <laughs> um, i wish i wish i could block um pick up only as keywords mm. on sale threads and victoria speaking of buying things henry says i was on bricklink and was planning on buying a ton of lego bricks today the total was around 32 dollars for 200 pieces and i calculated the postage cost alone 30 dollars. the order was also very light Wow. Wow. $30 postage? Jesus. Where were you ordering it from? Germany. $30? Cheaper than that. And that sounds like an American postage cost. Yeah, never buy from America. No offense to my American viewers, but postage yeah. to Australia from your country is insane. It's stupid, yeah. Beyond. Although, considering it takes six weeks to get from America, you'd think you'd get a cheap, cheap rate. Um <laughs> That's like the T-shirts that I ordered were actually made in America, but they went via freaking Germany to get here. Yeah, yeah, well, considering that they're a day behind, you'd think it'd be quicker, but... No. Yeah, no. See, $30 for postage. I've got a... Oh, okay, well, I don't have it here. But... Oh, hang on. Yes, this would be a good thing to actually have it in front of me when I'm talking about it. But, okay. Um... This is thirty dollars postage, and this way is what one oh, that one and a half kilos. So yeah, you've been ripped off. Oh, incidentally, this is two hundred dollars, and this is the King's Castle. Oh, was this a great time to to mention that I had this for sale? No, okay, that was that was lucky. Uh, but yeah, like seriously, um, yeah, thirty dollars. Seriously, if you're going to promote yourself, do it properly, James. Where do you sell? Sorry, Gloria. If you're going to promote yourself, do it properly, James. Where do you sell? I sell in in a variety of places, and namely uh, in in local markets, um, a variety of uh, local Australia buy swap sell, um, state, and then um, in Lego groups as well online. When you say local markets, you mean where? Uh, oof. Bendigo. Well, yeah, Bendigo Market um, in the showgrounds, um, but not really this month because, um, yeah, thank AGL. Just leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Henry says, lol, sponsorship, ABC, how much is he paying you? I will double it for my I, own. Honestly, I, I, I saw the $30 postage and I thought that's what we can get for $30. So I, I think... Um, well, uh, Diglis says I need about 50 more of those castle walls. Well, um... He's like, hmm. <laughs> uh, yes. I can't promise 50, but I can promise the the amount that there is in this set. <laughs> uh, and Henry, Henry, uh, I, I get paid in friendship. Mm. Something you can't put a price on. It's <laughs> Sorry, that not come out as exuberant. It's, it's just priceless. <laughs> exuberance is like, absolutely priceless. Something that you just can't put a price on. I'm so excited about this prospect. This product is awesome. Yeah, Buy it. Made in friendship. <laughs> Yeah, it's not even a friendship I can have in person. Jeez. Oh, look, if anybody's interested, let me know. <laughs> um, what, in a friendship? <laughs> James is like, um, yeah, and, and how can they find you, James? In the dark alley, four houses down from... <laughs> Um, all right, yes, okay. Um, well, uh, under the Bendigo overpass. 
Oh. Sorry. Standing out of the yeah, road. That, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so um, a Lego marketplace, a Lego buy, swap, sell, a Lego buy, swap, sell, sell, swap. So you know what they're like. They have like um, several derivatives of the same name. Yeah, just uh, like, you know what it look like. <laughs> actually, no. Well, I don't actually have my face as my logo. So I have... Uh, I'm just trying to look for it. Um, it's on the front of your head. <laughs> oh, you mean the logo? Sorry. Yeah, he's saying that his face is in his profile pic. No, it's not. Um, you like to make things difficult, don't you, James? I don't know. Okay, so uh, this is going really well. Yeah, this, I know. This is my um, in my profile pic, but. I think what I've done, I've transposed. Hang on, I'll just change it. Yeah. Okay, so as a shock, this is my profile pic, yeah. but just in reverse. Okay, so a chicken, <laughs> another chicken, and an egg. So that'll be on my Facebook profile pic. Um, so if you check out my name, mm. James Dutton, and should go from there but yeah. yeah there you go that's it um that was great i think everyone oh, knows it I have a no, no, really wanted... this is not sponsored no <laughs> <laughs> uh, you wouldn't want to be paying for that <laughs> no i'll pay for it afford to pay for that like, <laughs> you'll pay for that yeah um Oh, Henry, Henry, the, the Brisbane show is on, like, all long weekend. Uh, if anyone wants to meet me in person and you are in, going to the Chandler show, I will be there Monday. I am booked. I will be there. Can't do the weekend because hubby's got to work. So it'll be the first time to do a Monday. What time are you going, Shree? Nine o'clock. Going from the first session. And we'll be there all day. All day. Yeah, because that's how I roll. Wow, I've got a video stuff. Content. Oh, man, you are full on. Oh, man. No, nah, go, go, got to do videos, and, and I've got a lot of friends in the other group that, you know, don't cross borders, so mm -hmm. sometimes this is the only time I get to see them. So hi, friends from the other side. From the other side? <laughs> yeah, you got there, John Edwards. <laughs> I didn't mean both. Oh people. my god! You know what? You're trying to recruit people, but recruiting from the dead? That's a, that's Get a new for numbers now. Oh, no, no, that's a new no, life. Okay, it's like <laughs> the other thing. The, oh, the notification goes off, stop. and it's like king. It's like a you know a funeral bell, you know. And <laughs> Yes, Henry, but honestly, <laughs> to answer your question that you didn't ask, I wouldn't because the price is a bit hideous. Did I break, Philip? <laughs> Sorry. Maybe no, no. you do your homework, Henry. I figured you were saying enough. I'd just get my mouth shut. I started you off. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, God, that's a horrible thing to start. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, the, the upside of going Monday is that there won't be anything left to buy. Fun police. No, I'm not the fun police. <laughs> Easily, uh, I James. Ha 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 ha. No, I am not the voice of reason. You should know that by now. Yeah, you're the voice of insanity. But anyway, I'm the voice of. You're, you're that little voice that whispers in you. Buy it, buy it. You need it. I'll I'll take to get rid of I'll take drugs to get chickens, rid of chickens, more chickens. Buck, buck, buck. Oh god, I'm that was scary with the echo just then. Well, hey, I'm, I'm the I'm the guy that sends you videos of chickens playing you know, and piano concertos. Oh, hang on, Henry. Henry is leaving as well. That was a whirlwind tour. If you turn up on Monday at that 
at that Lego show. You'll find me, Henry. Please find me. One of these days, I'm going to meet him in person. Mm -hmm. I remember one time he asked if I could have, if he could have one of my sick pics. I'm pretty sure it was him. I was like, hmm, yes. Find me and I will give you one. Sick pic. I've got a sick pic. <laughs> That's a very expensive sick pic, James. Yes, it is, actually. Oh, dear. What, uh, thanks anyway for an awesome stream. Yes. Uh, Douglas says, what did the chicken say to the rooster? I hope the punchline is coming quickly because this is a very long wait while you type. Is it worth it? I don't know. I'll let you know when we get there. Maybe I should have waited for the punchline to be typed up first. It's probably making you go dark. Let's get the book out of here. Okay, yeah, the, the payout was not worth the wait. But good try. Someone's got a sale on Lego Buy, Swap, Buy Sell Swap Australia. It looks like they've crashed their Jabber's sale barge into the side of a cliff and they're selling all the brown. There's there's um, bits of um, the rock panels mm -hmm. and what looks like the majority of all the reddish brown part of Jabba's sail barge. Like, Let me guess, with no yeah. mini pigs. No, no, no. That's, that doesn't even mention the Jabba's sail barge, but I can see the front of the hull. Uh, but wow. um, it's just reddish brown parts. Three hundred and seventy-five grams of reddish brown parts for fifteen bucks. Yeah. It's not exactly a ripoff. I don't know. But it's definitely Jabba's sail barge. I can see the I can How see parts of it. For 375 grams. Fifteen dollars. Well, that's weird. Um, I've instantly had two friends requests. Oh <laughs> James, you're popular. I really like your chest tattoo. What? <laughs> <laughs> You made the mistake of telling people what your real name is. If that's they can see it in the chat anyway. Okay. Uh, if you are going to send a friend's request, can you say who you are? Because that might help. But I know it says on my request, but I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. I'm, ter okay. I'm terrible at friend requests. I, I see them when I'm not home, no one near my computer. They come up on the phone. I go, oh yeah, I'll fix that when I get home. And if you get. Yeah, two weeks later, it's like, oh, it's a friend request on my phone, on my computer. What's this? I don't recall it being that long. Oh, did you friend me? Not the other way around. What? Um, I can't remember. You sought me out. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? That's that's probably. I'm talking to Billy. I'm talking to. I can't, I can't remember. To tell you the truth, since I'm the stalker, I'll say it was me. Yeah, it must have been you because, like, I don't recall waiting that long. Have I been kicked from that buy swap sales page? <gasps> Wait, no. Again? I think I have. Well, from the buy sell swap Australia. It's like, mother trucker. I'd like to be wrong. Lego buy sell swap Australia. I don't know why I'm even a member of it because I never buy anything that I see. Hmm. Yeah. Um, if I have been, it would probably be because I did the very bad thing and actually put something up according to rules placed. And apparently that's a bad thing because they constantly want me to be on my toes. No, I'm still there. Well, there you go. Oh, false alarm. Lego green set with rare animals, foliage, palm trees, etc. Half a dozen dark green leaves, half a dozen, I'll say a dozen dark green leaves, half a dozen bamboo shoots, leaf things, a green alligator, a couple of green snakes, and a couple of green frogs, a green vine, and two palm tree um, trunks, and, and two sets of leaves to go on the palm trees. 55 bucks. That seems a bit excessive. That does seem a bit excessive. Unless mm. a green snake and green frogs and a green alligator are rare to find, but aren't all alligators, crocodiles, green? Yeah, 
Crocodiles, certainly well, there are, are a couple of different variations in the crocodile. Um, but yeah, not for that price. Well, it depends on which one you're talking about. I'll be back in a oh, second. Oh, okay. Well, I have two. Um, anyway, Facebook is full of ripoffs. Except mine, which are awesome value. So, <laughs> no, seriously. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I had a Hindu temple and a, an Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. So, I says would... the big palm tree leaves are expensive. Oh, wow, I'm sitting on a gold mine, or have I got the little ones? Uh, you got a combination. Ah. Uh, and you've been paying attention to what I have. Wow, well done. But you're sitting on them, so surely you'd be... They are spiky and hard. So... Oh, no. He has been smiling all night. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Notice I did say the leaves and not the palm tree. Oh, no. And the stalk thing, which would no. be awkward if I was sitting on that. Just stop. You're just digging yourself deeper. Uh, what? Oh, I. Are you saying it about yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm saying it about you. Yeah, you <laughs> like, why are you paying me out? <laughs> You're no. so mean, Jay. Oh, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> Again, this is tonight. The funny thing is, is that he can unmute himself at any time, but now he's going to sit back and be a man. Oh, well, fine. If you're going to mute me, I'm not going to anything. Mew, 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 mew. James is sitting back and being a man. Have we got that long? Does the string go that far that long? <laughs> 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 and he still didn't unmute. I figured I'd get an unmute for that, but just a finger. Well, that's boring. Boring. <laughs> I'll give you that one, you smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was comfortable there. Hey, I've got to be comfortable if I've got to get through puberty. Come on. <laughs> oh, as soon as he said that. As soon as you said, oh, he's got to be a man, then I've got a message saying somebody wants to connect with me. What is going on? It's <laughs> <laughs> like the proviso of communication. One, uh... <laughs> well, clearly, clearly somebody. Uh... <laughs> Crazy. Mm. Oh, James has disappeared. Yeah, he's trying to see if this person's working or not. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, you already missed out on a short thing with the the oh, sound effects. I reckon. What woman? Okay. He's already been uh, high making babies. <laughs> <laughs> what? He could have found himself a sugar mama that also it likes, is. you know, obscure. He could have Lego to the cows come home. Follow me around the house going, whoop, whoop. Speaking whoop, of cows, whoop. how expensive are bloody cows? My God. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what, yeah. the black and white moo-moo? Yeah. Especially brown ones. Moo. Oh, black and white ones uh, go from 20 up to $30. Yeah. Yeah. And there's one, only one for sale in Australia, and I found two on eBay, and they wanted 25 bucks for those each. Moo. I do know of a certain retailer who sells them for $20 each. Yeah, and how many would he have access to? And does he do after post? <laughs> I'll talk to you about that later. Oh, okay. I'm not going to mention their name because unlike some other former panellists, I don't... Former? Don't. I know exactly what you're talking about, what you're saying. Yeah. He's on news. Ah, the serenity. <laughs> it's quite all of a sudden, isn't it? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Johnny G says it's expensive to play pirate Legos. Yeah, it would be. Dark side, are they Sith cows? No. No. The stalks. Yeah. Not Sith cows. Uh, <laughs> my plan was to get 10 eventually, but um, plus dollars a cow, that's going to take a while. I got another one. Sorry? <laughs> Our kitty quota oh. is doubled. Another another Lego to cat. This one doesn't steal Lego. Uh, this one's like, what the hell are you doing to me? What's that yeah. one's name? Dash. Dash. Dude, we, found him, we found him in the dashboard of an abandoned car, so we called him Dash. Oh, cool. <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't destroy Lego, Lego or steal it. That's good. Yeah, no, he just comes and lays and watches. Okay. Them. <laughs> That's me. So the guy only steals Lego when I ignore him. Lesson: Do not ignore the cat. <laughs> Pretty much. At least he's smart enough to steal the color that I'm actually working with at the time. I can't color. believe he did that twice. I thought it was a fluke the first time, but no. Hmm. Replicate it three times and you've got yourself a confirmed theory. No, he's not going to get a third chance. <laughs> third chance and he's banned permanently? No, that'll never happen. I'm too laid back to do things like that. Too much effort required. It's really weird having Harry Potter in front of you, Darkseid, and not like a Stormtrooper or something. Yeah, it, it is kind of a, a <laughs> weird juxtaposition there. Yeah, we need yeah. like a little TIE fighter or something because it's weird. I'll fix yeah, it. I thought you weren't really into all that Lego stuff other than the Smells style. building it, not me. Oh. <laughs> like, it's not my Lego, it smells Lego. No, no, it's yeah. my Lego, but Mel's building it. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. mm. Calm down, don't get all excited there. Sure, he's very strange things like that. Next year we you know, like buying friends and elves sets just for the parts. So. I can slap you through the internet, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you live. Yes. He's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> da uh, Dark side, did you ever find out where your mysterious package came from? No, I didn't. That was that's just spins me out. Whoever did that, that's such a nice thing to do, and I still don't know where it came from. It might have been Darren. He hasn't owned up to it. Share the story. Sorry? Share the story for, like, people who aren't in our immediate friend circle. I was, um, came back from Maryborough, um, had a couple of orders um, in my store when I opened my, because I closed my store down for the weekends when I'm at events or if I'm away doing 5 first stuff. And, um, yeah, came home, opened the store back up, got a bunch of orders real fast, sent them out. And didn't think anything of it. It's just, yeah, okay, more orders, yay. More Lego I can buy later on. And um, did all that. And I haven't got any orders placed or anything because I haven't actually started working on the new table as such yet. It's all planning, in planning still. And a parcel turned up in my mailbox. Didn't think anything of it. It was a brown um, postage bag. I think I've chucked it already. Um, a brown postage envelope. And it was rolled up. I thought, eh, what's this? And there was no return to sender address on it or anything like that. But it was lumpy and hard. And I thought, well, I've got to open it. I just hope it's not a bomb. I opened it up and it's a little care package. There's a, a Lego shark in there, a, um, a brown Lego dog, which is really cool. I'll be using that on the new table. Um, and some minifigure accessories and a, an orange alien, which is going to go straight into my cantina. But the fact is it came out of nowhere with no prior warning, no nothing. I have no idea who it was who sent it to me. What was the postmark? I didn't think to check the stamp, the, the postmark. Have you stopped out the envelope? Oh, yes, it did actually. No, Mel checked that. What Do you remember what one it was? No, There's some little town that she'd never heard of. Okay, because if it was international, I would die of shock. No, no, it wasn't international. Oh. It was in Australia. Okay. Posted right. from somewhere in Australia. Name? I couldn't tell. I can't even remember the name of the postmark, the post office. Darn it. You should have Googled it. 
I should have. I didn't. Like, I was more surprised that I, someone sent me a prezi. It was like, what? So out of the blue, it's like, I have no idea who it was that sent it to me, but I'm extremely thankful. Well, it was clearly somebody with your address. Yeah, well, that's not hard to find. All you got to do is go to Dark Side Bricks. My address is on the, on the. But yeah, whoever it was, I'm extremely thankful for it. I just no idea who it was that sent it to me. Mm, well, obviously they didn't want you to know because they didn't put a return address. Yeah, well, I've posted it just straight on Facebook, and I've posted it to all the groups that I'm a member of in case the person's in those groups. So hopefully they've seen it. There, is that better? Oh, I don't know. Vader being chauff Vader being chauffeured around by a stormtrooper. Mm. <laughs> there you go, I Star Wars it. Much better off. Harry and the <laughs> ringer can uh, Douglas says Mayo might be giving you the bricks are treatment. <laughs> I, like I have no idea what you're talking about. Which Mayo? There's a few. Oh, the one and only that we haven't heard from in an awfully long time. I'm sure if you say his name three times, he may appear. Oh, like Bailey? Yes. <laughs> no, actually, that's right. He's he's so high on ABS fumes at the moment being over there that he just uh, summons himself. Well, uh, I have to give him props. Apparently, he's been doing a good job of, like, um, being an ambassador for Keylog and actually letting them know that we exist. Yep. I guess that's cool. And I, you know, had the foresight because, you know, we were in handbags. I'd shove, like, we had some extra Keylog, like, torso type, you know, mini pigs. I just kept them in my handbag, you know, for that point in time where I was handing them out to somebody. And I had a bunch left, so I was like, Bailey, take these. <laughs> and our, our actual ambassador was like, oh, wow, you, you, you're such a great admin on the ball. Unlike me, I completely didn't even think about it. So when are you running for office? <laughs> you're funny. Anyway. Uh, where are we? Oh, when, uh, all right. Douglas told the second half of the story. When he sent Brixar the two by four red brick. Okay. If you don't know Brixar, he's mostly into like vintage stuff and trains with Lego. And um, one of his earlier videos was joking about a two by four red brick being rare. And it was quite funny, actually. And ever since then, it's just been a thing like. You know, random fans will send him a two by four brick um, with a little, you know, note that was similar to what he did in his video. So, yeah, Mayo is like a, a uber fan of Brixar, so he sent him a two by four red brick. Right. People who know what I'm talking about will will know what I'm talking about. Everyone else will be like, what? It's like anything that, you know, is a silly story all of a sudden, you know, it's like saying, well, it's like somebody, somebody popular and famous saying, oh, I love this designer handbag. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, you get that designer handbag over and over and over again from people as gifts. I like Lego. <laughs> it's like, Send I don't know what you're talking about. It's words, it but it makes no sense. Welcome to my world. He's in the car. We have the Las Vegas skyline complete. Yay! That's cool. That does look yeah. cool. I like it. It's one skyline that I've actually been to. Oh. Actually, I think I've been to most of them. No. I think I've only got one skyline that I've ever been to. Sydney. Yeah. And I only went there once, and it made That's me it. and I never went back again. The brown one there. Bet you I grabbed that by mistake. No, I did all, this, all the slopes in the shop, remember? Oh, it's funny. Dark side, Sorry. when you have a microphone in your mouth, right up near your mouth, it doesn't matter how quietly you whisper. Yeah, that's okay. 
She's looking for a slope that she can't find. Oh, no. I must go find one for her. I'll be back shortly. No. I'm thinking, is it a good thing or a bad thing having a brickling store to pick things from? I don't know how you'd do it because I'd be too attached to parts going, no, I can't sell this. What if I need it one day in the future? I may know exactly what you mean. Yeah. I mean, some parts you can look at and go, I'll never use that and chuck it in a box where you'll never look again. But most parts, I wouldn't, I'd be too scared to brick link it. Once upon a time, I used to on sell bits that I didn't think I would need. And then I started building things. I was like, no, can't sell any of the things. Makes the hobby a lot more expensive. Mm. So I try to just buy things that I actually need, which is why I generally don't do sets. For new sets, I end up with a whole heap of crap that, like, yeah, it might be useful one day, but just money sitting there doing nothing. Where? What? Not in my like, house. What have I missed? Yes, Douglas, you never know what you'll need. Even in, like, the really, really obscure colours or the really girly colours, like, I thought I would never use those colours, but I was wrong! But it's handy, um, some of the random crap that we get in the event support. Pretty colours. And some of it is not. And like, some of it is very much not. Like, who needs 16 Porsche fenders? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it was filler. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm, I'm sure there's a use for it somehow. I what threw them all in the play tables. The GBC? <gasps> you threw them in the play tables. Oh, well, I guess next show we'll get to see what kids will do with it without any technic axles. Exactly. Their imagination will come up with something. I, I, I have no doubt. Uh, I don't see what though. Oh, I'm gonna make me. Oh well, never mind. Warren G says I keep everything. Yeah. High five. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I did that, and then I heard a pop from my elbow as it suddenly. Oh. What did I miss? Did I miss James? Oh, I a high five, and then it went crack, and then. Yeah, my um. Oh, how in the hell do you injure yourself from a virtual high five? <laughs> oh, it's his right arm. It's probably no, don't worry. Oh, he just had to make himself part of that was the problem. Probably, that... worn, probably worn out that joint. <laughs> oh, no. I'm Legoing. Yeah. Yeah, too much. Like... Hands up. His arms and hands are old and rickety. Like you know, when you get to my age. Because <laughs> you're old. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> oh dear. What, it's what I do to, to trust me. That was a save. What I just did then. So just absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I think you pulled it off. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> noticed. Uh, oh, what a relief. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boom. laughs> no words. <laughs> Jody's like, oh my god, I'm here and it makes no difference. <laughs> no idea. Good save. Oh, you found it. Was it? Save. You found it now. Well done. Yes. That was a save. Good save. Olna is giving him the tingle. That was own goal. What are you talking about? Own goal. Mel found the part, okay? Yes. See, look, I did that and none of my, none of my um, bones popped. Uh, Douglas says, has anyone noticed, noticed Dark Side's lens flare? Star Wars through and through. That was more Star Trek, really, lens flare. I don't know. He, he did his fair, um, JJ did his fair bit of lens flare in, um, uh, the Force Awakens. Yeah, but he did lens flare in Star Trek first, didn't he? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Turned it down for the Force Awakens. Mm. But yeah, I'm just channeling, channeling my J, my inner JJ. Oh. Lens flare. It's Arnie. No, I figure if the if the light was bright enough, then you wouldn't see Mel. No, it's just illuminating her like an angel. You have a remover. Got a halo. <laughs> It's because she is my angel. Oh, yeah. I'm get told to shut up in a minute. <laughs> oh, God, where did I put them? What have you lost now? Oh, she wants a separator, but they're buried somewhere. You can't see the floor of my room. Actually, I can't see the floor of my room. That's the What's the floor? Oh yeah, Bill's God. trying to trying to give you one virtually through the screen. Oh, there you go. Bill's is handing you one through the actual screen, Dal. But I don't Watch think it's out, James you. might hit you in the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't reach out there. to grab it, James. You might throw your arm out again. You you old people. <laughs> you dodgy now, what would be funny is if Bill reached over with it. And then you went to yeah. I was trying to find one so I could so I could go like this, reach out and grab it, but no, I haven't got one in here. They got put away. Darn, 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 de darn. This oh, bag one of the train sets got one in it. There you go. Oh, who put this container here? Oh, I just did. Simba. Oh, hello, mm -hmm. Miss Ambi. Thank you oh. for the uh, super chat. That's okay. We're still here. You're not late yet. It's been one day of buying a single train set, and I think I've got more train tracks than I have stormtroopers. Excellent. Four by one, we can now be in the same as opposed to what we've been doing for the last hour and a half. There you um, go. Oh, kitty. Bring you. Kitty, kitty. That's worth like $3.50. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to ask Miss Amy, do you have any out of control Lego pro pro projects? What have you done? That. Give. Move it up. I mean, all you've missed is, you know, cute kitties and lens flare. <laughs> no. And inappropriate jokes. Sore elbows. <laughs> Sore elbows. <laughs> oh, Simba. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. ow. I'm like, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Diggler said, that's in pounds. ABC is rich. Whoops. There you yeah, go. Oh, fish. There you go, what? Re re deconstruct it to reconstruct it. Why is Miss Amby two pounds? Because she's just given me two pounds. That's oh, two. is that what that thing like, means? Like a tip jar. So if anyone's new here and you haven't heard me, that is, uh, if any time you want to support me, you can feel free to pop. Uh, donation into the super chat, and uh, I get a uh, portion of that. Of course, pay. Um, what do you call it? Not PayPal. So is that like an um, an insanity tip jar? Sorry. Is that like an an insanity tip jar? It's like a tip jar. Yeah. Usually, people use it to get um, the attention of like really popular YouTubers, and I'm not that. Popular. So I'm guessing Miss Ambie's from the motherland. The motherland. Uh, she's from the UK. Yeah, the motherland. The motherland. The motherland of Australia. The old country. The old country. Um, I'm just where all, where all the best convicts came from. I'm descended from the. <laughs> That's Ireland, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rome, Rome Island. <laughs> that was a joke, but yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that was a joke. So Although, no, so no, was to yeah, I'm trying to. Know. Knowing English courts at the time is probably accurate, but anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again, I'm not getting into that. Yeah. But yeah, it's a it's basically a virtual tip jar. Uh, okay, we have an answer. Miss Amby was from. Miss Amby says, "Underneath my city." I'm planning on a big rockwork mountain, which is going to be a big. Thing. That sounds like a big undertaking. That that sounds like my pain, which um, I can show right now how much I've actually done on that. 
He's like, but this is what I've done. Nothing. Nothing. Yes. He tattooed his chest with Pac-Man. <laughs> oh dear. That's how much he's done. Uh, I, I am done. <laughs> I tattooed oh. my arm with Lego bricks. You what? I tattooed my arm with Lego bricks. I don't know what I thought you okay. said. Okay. Somewhere there, I can't twist <laughs> my arm the right way. All I see is a Nintendo controller. Oh yeah, that's there too. But wrong way. Oh yeah, I can see him. I I'm upside down. It looks <laughs> like a really really bad <laughs> some really bad bad um tramps. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> it's just the wrong angle. It's it's meant to be on your back, dude. <laughs> yeah, along with oh, unless your arm's the actual threat. No, don't worry. <laughs> so, if you're going to be maimed in a farming accident, and you know have your, all your arms all torn up and your fingers cut up and that, do, would you want your plastic surgeon to reform your hands into the cup shape? If you like. I did not know where you're going with that. I know. I, I, I was, was scared to partake there for a second. Yeah, I was like. But you know, uh, I'm just in years. Yeah, there's way too many ways to take the um the whole cup shape oh, over here, so I'm not going to answer that. Yeah, no. I like Lego. Oh, yeah. I that like Lego. Awesome tattoo. Thank you. Oh god. If, I'm if sure I did, but I just couldn't see it. If I could get the angles right, I could show you that in each of the two by four bricks, I have my kids' names. Ah, there you go. See, all you need to do is stand on the other side of um, Jody and just shove your arm across in front of your face. Ah, <laughs> and then everyone would see it. Simba! So fluffy. Simba! Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Hey, oh, kitty, 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 kitty. Same eyes as an angel. Simba! My heart melts. <laughs> Hello, Simba! <laughs> Let let it breathe, jeez. <laughs> like smile for the camera, cat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kitty, kitty. I don't know how, but he walks on Lego. He mustn't hurt his little paws. And sits on it and licks his butt on it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Miss Amby says, oh, the kitty is cute. Yeah, he is adorable. But very, very owie when he claws you. Mm. Kitten claws. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Douglas said, Pac-Man, the OG raver popping pills like no tomorrow. <laughs> there is no connection with that. Um, <laughs> although... It would it would make a lot more sense if the people in nightclubs, when they do that, they go. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense, and uh, you'd be able to see them <laughs> a lot easier. Waka 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 waka. Oh, however it moves, but yes, anyway. Waka waka. <laughs> waka waka. Isn't that fuzzy bear? Yep. I don't know. Does he drop pills? That. Nobody can make it. Can his ears. <laughs> then he, that's nothing special because milk can do it too. Yes. <laughs> I'm not joking. She can wiggle one of her ears. It's the only one. Thing. That's yeah, interesting. Only one. She can't do both. Oh, I, my uncle can do both. I get annoyed that people that can raise one eyebrow. I can't even do that. I've got no skills. <laughs> my skills begin and end on the Lego table. I'm so distracted by your cat. <laughs> He's being a bit cute. Thank you. It was a cute kitty. Because the rest of the house has gone to bed, so he's come looking for attention. He's like, people, give me pats. Let me put my bum in your face. Oh, that's charming. Look hey, at me. Bastard. Yay. Oh, no, it's <laughs> There you go, Mel. You can remember what Angel used to look like. I reckon um, uh, what you need to do is get like a, probably a six or an eight Technic brick, you know, the ones with the holes in it. Yeah. A little bit of string. 
Easy catch. Oh, okay. I was again. I was wondering where you're going with that. <laughs> Have you got any spare ones of those? James oh. scares me when he gets into a conversation. Yeah, I, I, I actually make sense sometimes. It, yeah, it, no, it's just that you got to wait till the end of it so you can make sure that it's yeah, safe to join in. Context. Well, yes, this, I've got to make this it. This kitchen has about a hundred dollars worth of cat toys around the house, and he oh, chucks yeah. the toilet roll around. Yeah, yeah, why not? You know. Yeah, we we got the a U Butte cats cat climbing post, scratching post, and everything for the cats, and they've got toys all over the place. And Soth sat in this yesterday <laughs> while it was on the floor in the lounge room after we'd emptied the bricks out of it. If I fit, yeah. I sit. Yeah. Oh, you didn't fit, but I don't even have to fit. <laughs> the the box is a bit <laughs> rounder than what it's supposed to be. It's, a, it's actually been pushed out because he made himself fit. Uh, as Tom yeah. says, my ragdoll cat sleeps in my Lego boxes as well. I want people to know that's got a ragdoll as well. A rag doll they thing. go through your grocery shopping as soon as you get home to find out what you bought. Lex. Oh, they love bags. Oh my god. My Lego cat licks plastic bags. What is with that? Yeah, but like in, we've got them stored in a drawer, and yeah. um, it's one of those old con cupboardy type things where the actual door handle's a hole in the actual drawer. So yeah. you, you grab the drawer and pull it out, and he pours the bags out through the hole and then sits there and licks them for no <laughs> reason. Yeah, like I would understand if it smelt like something, but is it just the texture? Is it just the noise it makes? I don't know what it is. I just put him down to being a window licker and he doesn't know what a window is. <laughs> Working it up to a hard surface. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's the only one out of all the cats. He's the only one that does it. Yeah, Kiki does that. And she's stopped now because I don't have any more of those bags. But... And his brother, uh, Soth, he likes um, foil, our foil. Ah, crinkly. Yeah, but you got to be careful. Cats can't eat our fall. It's not good for them at all. Yeah. Got to watch what side they lick. Um, the the shiny side is okay, but the other side... Oh, really? I didn't know that. No, I'm, we used to I, I'm just making that up. But I, I'd imagine that the... That the um, Felt like a real tip. Some of, the, some of the weird stuff to do with cats, you'd be surprised that did not sound that weird. You know what? Yeah, they'd be attracted to the shiny, but isn't like the, uh, the underside of it? Um... I don't know. Isn't that a wives' tale? I know where you're going. Uh, isn't that just a wives' tale? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's like when you um, fall over as a kid and you scab your knee, you, your parents always say, oh, just let the dog lick it and it'll make it better. It's like, uh, no, that doesn't work. People stop telling your children. That's not a wise tale. Like that's just like your mum's off a nut. No, it wasn't my mum. Oh, okay. Well, a mum. Yeah. Why would you let your dog lick it? I don't know. Dogs eat everything. They eat their own crap. They yeah. eat other animals' crap because yeah. they're dogs. They eat rocks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I haven't seen my dogs eat rocks yet. So. Oh, yeah. They eat rocks. They're like goats. Like they just eat anything and everything. They eat barbed wire if you let them. No, my dogs aren't that stupid. Uh, well, one of them maybe. Yeah. I don't know. If they're bored, they'd probably try. <laughs> but they'd eat each Mine's other. Mine's too busy chasing uh, one of these 2,700 bloody rubber balls around the backyard. Yeah. He's, I've got a ball crazed a border collie. <laughs> That doesn't sound abnormal. Well, seeing how we've got three and only one of them's ball crazy. Mm. But he'll put his own life on the line just to chase down a, a tennis ball when you throw it. Oh, my gosh. I thought body collies were supposed to be smart. They are. Just not mine. <laughs> no, Labrador. No, he's, done, he's done all the training and he's done, um, what's that, the um, agility stuff. Jumping over poles and running through tunnels and racing, all that sort of stuff. And he's done the whole proper actual training and he's been taught tricks and commands. Wow. And whatnot. So in mind. that respect, he's in incredibly smart. But when you look at him, one eye rolls in the opposite direction than the other one. The fact that his eyes roll is the scary part. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, he's not there, yeah, he's not altogether there. 
guaranteed. <laughs> He sounds like a Jack Nicholson character in, you know, one of his early movies. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Yeah. yeah. But it's a, it's a weird sort of crazy look. It, um, I used to have a dog called, <laughs> of all things, called Chewbacca. He was a um, shepherd uh, husky cross. And this dog, even as a pup, this dog had eyes that were 20, 30 years older than what he should have been. Mm. Just looked wise. And you look at him, and no matter how bad a day you had, you just everything was good. Well, Boba Fett, my current border collie, has exactly the same effect, but with the completely the opposite look on his face. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a, a very weird thing. Awkward silence. I'm tired. Me too. Yeah, I think we're well past midnight now. I think it's a good yeah. time. Oh, 15 it. minutes. I'm surprised James is still awake. I know. Well, he's joint Fascinated, James. With well, his joints a... all failing and everything else. Well, I had a little sleep. I actually got uh, 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 yeah, a granny uh, nap. A three hour nap in the Okay. <laughs> three, hours? three hours? That's not a nap. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> no, oh, a nap. Granny naps like a cat nap, mate. Twenty minutes and you're right, right to go for the next six or seven hours. Uh, Three hours—that's actual sleep. You, oh, yeah, you end up REM sleep in two hours. No, it was proper sleep. Um, I don't know. I have time to do that, but I need it because I'm a I'm a broken person, and I I need your phone to record that and use that. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Joe uh, admitted that he's broken. Yeah. Mm, the government knows. So that's fine. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I do require extra rest sometimes. So, um, yeah, recuperation is important. The, body, the mind, not the body, right? Just in case. No, oh, yeah. the last four days of my body's needed a lot oh, of rest. Right. Yeah. My yeah. back was shot. <laughs> no, Douglas, I don't have Pac Man pills. If I would, I would be noticeably different. And he'd have to tattoo them on his arm so it looked like that man was chasing something. <laughs> I'd be like literally running around and whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Oh, boop, boop. oh my God. I've got a, a Harry Potter train. Top this up. So that's probably. Mm. So you had to try. Yeah, I'm thirsty. It's, sit it's sitting up too high. That's, all, that's the only reason. Well, hopefully by this time next week, I'm hopefully I'll have um, something to show you as as to my progress on the wall. Yay! The red ones in here that are stopping us. Progress. progress requires you to you actually start, those. James. Well, what? I'm thinking about it. The problem is, is that all all the things I'm thinking about are just bouncing around in my head, and um, they're not actually getting it out. Breaks to stop it from turning. Mm is a challenge so um i guess all of our friends online understand what that means hopefully um and yeah i just need to start yes I'm gonna start. Oh. everything is so hard long uh, is getting excited for doctor who doctor who one panel only time for Doctor Who. Was well, it that's a week or two days? away, isn't it? Or nine more days. Spotting to spell. Yes, he did get his shuttle. Um, yeah, and he built it in the motel room. Actually, he was planning on building it during the stream on Friday night last week, but he had it built before then. He was that excited. He was like, he was a bit too lit. Yeah, totally lit, lit, lit. <laughs> it was a cool shuttle, though. If you want to see it, watch last week's stream. Last week's stream was fun. Really? Yeah, my head was a ping pong ball. <laughs> yes, but no ABC heads were hurt during the production of this. <laughs> that is true. That is full page. That is definitely true. Hmm. Anyway, on that note, we should probably wrap this up. Uh, as I've already said this once, <laughs> it is well past midnight and uh, certain people need their sleep. 
depleting myself. I want to say thank you to everyone who's joined us in the live chat. I really appreciate you guys turning up every week or whenever you can. Um, it's fun to have you as part of the conversation here. Uh, to everyone who's watching us on the playback, uh, thank you for your support also. If you haven't already subscribed, you know where the button is. It's down there, right? Um, or you can hit the little heart button that says subscribe in the corner, whichever corner it is. I can't remember. Um, I want to say thank you to Darkside Bricks and Mrs. Darkside Bricks in the background. Bye, good boy. Bye, Mill. Uh, James. Nothing hey, else the train. And uh, Bill and Jody, thank you very much for coming along. And to everyone else, have a good weekend. Do lots of Lego. And I'll see you in the next live stream. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.